Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with Rangers. We're going to be taking on Dundee momentarily at Ibrox and then we're at Pataudry as our second fixture in the episode. As you can see here, Jason Holt scoring for Aberdeen at Tynecastle gives them a really strong away win. And Edinburgh moves them back up to second place, currently three points ahead of ourselves. But if we beat Dundee, we will retake second on goal difference. Uh, Dundee, we have a kind of iffy record against it actually um, three wins, a draw and two losses actually, but if we look at Dundee's current form, they are in poor form at the moment, I believe two losses and three draws in the last five there we're in pretty strong form, we had that blip 2-1 uh, defeat against Hamilton but putting that out of our minds we're in pretty good form uh, we take a look at the table here, we're actually going to put, sorry at the team here, we're going to put Mitchell back in ahead of Oliveira just now we're going to go with Fulton, Houston, Cardoso, Fernandez, Mitchell, Henderson, Barjonas, Price, O'Halloran, Gonzalez, and Eduard. You know, we're, well, are we going to go with Eduard? I mean, Herrera's obviously still out, so we can't. But no, do you know what? We're not going to go with odds on Eduard. We're going to go with Alfredo Morelos to lead the line. So everyone in the team, apart from Fulton and Houston, above a 7 uh, rating at the moment. Do you know what? Gamboa's going to come back in. So everybody in the team, apart from Fulton above a 7 average rating. So we're going to go with Fulton Gamboa, Cardoso Fernandez, Mitchell Henderson, Barjonas, Price, O'Halloran, Gonzalez and Morelos. That is going to be the team. Very aggressive attacking formation from us today. Just going to go out there and impose ourselves. We need a good strong victory over Dundee who, who swatted us pretty much when we played them up at Dens Park. Uh, okay, that's a pretty interesting line we can say to them here. Dundee come into this one twelfth in the form table which puts them bottom while we are first. Let's show them why. So basically go out, you're in great form, they're in awful form, let's go and bitch slap them. So we'll encourage the boys as always, Abdallah to Spence as Dundee gets underway here at a packed Ibrox Stadium. And we're putting some early pressure on them as they try to stroke the ball around at the back even possession in the first 10 minutes or so we're beginning to just take over now a little bit Darren O'Day has a knock for Dundee at the moment so hopefully that will affect his ability to, to defend as we look to push forward but the opening 20 minutes a really dull affair so far here at Ibrox we are controlling the game dominant in terms of the statistics but no chances created uh, as Sasako takes the Dundee throw to McLaughlin back to Sasako he launches it forward for Abdallah Abdallah nods it to Spence it's good play by the striker who ripped us apart up at Dens ball in behind cut out by Cardoso now though Henderson gets it to O'Halloran who plays a quick one to Morelos lovely first touch second touch sets him and it's a lovely finish by Alfredo Morelos brilliant play O'Halloran with an excellent ball in behind beautiful pass and then Morelos doesn't panic strokes it away first real chance of the game 1-0 Rangers And we're absolutely bossing this here. I'd like a second goal before half time as Scott Bain kicks it long towards Abdallah. This time wins the flick on. Spence has somehow found himself in. He shoots, and it's a good save by Ian Fulton. Top finish. Spence, not with the composure that Morello showed at the other end. But that's just a simple route one long ball from Scott Bain, and we have to defend that better. Um, as Freer puts it in towards Abdallah Cardoso gets it away. Gamboa pushing out to Freer to try and block the second cross, which is cut back. Gonzalez away to Morelos and he will launch it for O'Halloran, but it's cut out by Sissako. But there you go, just one shot for Dundee, uh, and they nearly equalised. So we have to look alive here. Hamilton uh, also ahead against St Mirren, trying to halt St Mirren's decent form, actually, as they look to claw their way off the bottom of the table. <clears throat> Jack Price today has actually been disappointing, which is a shame, given he's been in good form recently. Uh, tell him to guard against complacency because we do have that in us uh, we'll bring on Oliveira for Mitchell and we'll also take off Henderson for Rosator and just get the carded players out of the game we're still going to be attacking them we tell the boys to get creative we want a second goal you know, we don't want to come out here and try and shut up shop or anything like that that would be ludicrous at this point in the game we want a nice strong victory especially considering our battle for second with Aberdeen right now is being split by goal difference so if we can up ours that would be great Price with a great ball to Morelos and catches me unawares at the start of the second half brilliant assist from Jack Price and Morelos no touches this time lethally sweeps it into the bottom corner of the net and that's a strong brace for Alfredo Morelos staking a claim to be the main striker with uh, with Herrera out 
It's a good ball forward to Spence now. Here's Freer as Dundee probe. O'Halloran gets a foot in. Freer gets it. O'Halloran wins it again. He's just been brilliant uh, this season. O'Halloran as Price finds Gonzalez now. Of course, on loan from the Hammers. It's a terrible ball, though. We couldn't decide whether to go to Morelos or O'Halloran. As uh, Scott Bain launches it long. Abdallah nods it down to Freer. He's done really well, actually, for Dundee when we've seen him. Abdallah over the top for him now. Way too much of an asco as Ivanildo Fernandez goes back to Ian Fulton. Hopefully we can hit them with a quick 1-2 to start this game. We want a really confident performance today. Set us up for going up north to Pataudry in a game we really need to win. Uh, Gonzalez, a lovely flick on to Morelos, of course, on the hat-trick. Beats a man, beats another, shoots! It's a decent stop by Scott Bain in the end. I'd like to see him get his hat-trick. We can take him off for Rodson Edward, who is still available to sign on a free uh, in, in the summer. Nobody's actually tied up a deal with him yet. yet that, let that be PSG or... Uh, anybody else nobody's tied that up so we still have the option to take him uh, that was a weird camera angle uh, O'Halloran cuts out the Dundee throw headed away headed back towards us though Spence now tries a flick but Jonas will cut it out goes back to Gamboa as we retain possession it's been a good opening five minutes in the second half ball forward Dietz away but Burjonas can find Price moves it quickly to Gonzalez Gonzalez in behind for Morelos it's a brilliant ball Morelos got a lot to do though surrounded brought down and a penalty given that was brilliant by Morelos to win that penalty hopefully he can get his hat trick here from the spot make it 3-0 comfortable day for us um, and I've been really impressed with the performance Dundee's poor form in the league looks set to continue is Sacco off for this? No, he doesn't even get a card. That's interesting. I thought a yellow card, surely, as Morelos was preparing to shoot. Uh, Dietz has been booked for moaning, pretty much. Morelos stepping up now for three. It's 3 nothing to Rangers. Alfredo Morelos hat-trick. And certainly nobody can accuse them of being complacent today. We will bring Odson Edward on. I was considering Akram Afif there, but we'll go with Odson Edward. Dundee have been restricted to just one shot today as we look to improve our defensive side of the game. We're actually the top scorers in the league, but defensively we've been a bit iffy. It's into odds and Edward. First time sweeps it nicely into the uh, corner of the net, back across the goalkeeper. It was as easy as you'd like though for odds on Edward. And three goals in the opening, seven minutes of the second half. No complacency from the boys today, absolutely not. Uh, as Scott Bain goes long towards McLaughlin he'll challenge Oliveira flicks her on it should be picked up by Ivanildo uh, Fernandez, who's by the way looked a great signing at centre back he goes back to Ian Fulton takes a nice confident touch nobody really closing him down he goes back to Fernandez, who finds Oliveira moves it on it's not a good ball though Baxter gets it to Abdallah after cutting it out Abdallah now out wide back the way to Spence to Baxter coming more centrally now to Kamara it's a good ball Kamara looks a little isolated here. It's a good challenge by Rosita, but it will go to Freer, who sweeps it in from McLaughlin, who powers the header well wide at the post. Dundee's second shot of the game. Both have been good opportunities, actually, for Dundee to score, uh, but they've wasted their chances, uh, and, and we've punished them for wasting their chances. Okay, seven minutes gone now. It's calmed down a bit, but Burjonas in. Fernandez is there. He nods it. it is, oh, it's actually going to go in. Scott Bain thought that was going wide to the post by the looks of it as Ivanildo Fernandez scores the goal. It was a brilliant finish uh, on the header. Just flick it onto the outside of the post. Deflects off Scott Bain on its way in, but it will be Fernandez's goal. A 9.1 today for Fernandez. He's been a rock at the back. Uh, Kerr whipping it in now, it's headed down O'Day with a scissors kick against the bar Gamboa, Oliveira and away Gonzalez picking it up and this will do our goal difference no harm today 5 nothing at the moment, still 15 minutes left to go, Odson Edward holding off the, the defender Gonzalez and Price, he's got Oliveira out wide, is there a chance here to get this in from Oliveira? No, it's a good challenge uh, by the defender Cami Kerr now in the book, 10 minutes to go in this game Long has given Hibernian the lead at Rugby Park. Hibs, uh, sorry, Kilmarnock and Dundee both played really well this season, but clearly they had a little drop in form. Uh, Kerr with the throw, Gonzalez cutting it out, but Jonas now back to Fernandez, and this has been such a confident performance. I was considering actually changing against Aberdeen and going with two up, going with uh, Edward and Morelos playing together in a two. Um, maybe getting the midfield down to just two of them in there but considering how well we've played today I'm actually tempted 
to play with the exact same formation because this has been an absolute rout. Yeah, passionately very pleased. It has to be, doesn't it, after a 5 nothing victory against Dundee, exercising some of the demons from that Dens Park battering that we got earlier in the season. Well, I say battering, it was a it was only a 2-0 scoreline, but it was a comfortable victory in the end uh, for Dundee. Uh, any of our loanies actually getting on well today? Let's see. Yep, Bates doing okay. Uh, Zach Butterworth doing okay as well. Jack Adamson, Aidan Wilson, a lot of them doing okay. Miles Beerman as well. McCrory playing 90 minutes again. Uh, for Kilmarnock, I'm really pleased with his game time actually at Kilmarnock and he's coming on relatively well as a defender he's still not quite uh, the quality that we require but hopefully he can grow into that uh, I think he's still underrated in football manager, he looks to be a great Rangers prospect in real life, be, uh, being honest and hopefully he'll be a great Scotland prospect as well. I mean, Scotland could actually turn the corner, I think, with some of the youngsters that we have defensively, because there's always been a question of us at the back. And I think if you look at the players we have, we have, uh, you know, we have McCrory at Rangers, we've got Tierney and Robertson, of course, the Celtic beat Ross County 5-0 at Dingwall. Um, yeah, we've obviously got Tierney, we've got uh, Robertson, we've got McCrory, and we've also got... Uh, Tony Ralston at Celtic who's made a handful of first team appearances obviously needs more of a run of games actually to prove himself maybe he could go on loan somewhere I'm not really sure what his future looks like uh, but he's looked impressive when he's played for Celtic so that would give us a pretty decent back four uh, even if Kieran Tierney needs to go into the to the centre back position uh, I think he wants to discuss a lack of game time but Fernandez has been far too good how has he done actually I Thammy I Thammy's been Okay, he's actually only got one start in fairness to the guy, so he does have a point in saying that he's not got a lot of game time. But um, Cardoso and Fernandez look a good unit at the back, so I don't want to mess with that when we're in a good run of form. Friday night game actually, ourselves up at, P up at Pitodri, so that will give us a chance possibly to gain a little bit on Celtic before they play this weekend. Let's have a little look. Uh, we're currently 11 points behind Celtic. We can put that back to to 8 ahead of their game this weekend. I mean, they're gone, let, let's be honest about it. We're not going to catch Celtic, but, you know, getting a decent way ahead of Aberdeen would be important. Getting three points ahead of them uh, with a victory up at Pataudry and getting, you know, an even greater superiority in the goal difference would be brilliant. I'm actually going to allow... Isaac Ahmed to go as a rotational player to all those clubs because you never know I mean McCrory for example I believe is a rotational player at Kilmarnock and he's getting a fair bit of game time uh, right I've made my decision we're going to play the same team against Aberdeen we can swap switch about a team who, be who, who beat Dundee 5 nothing. we have to go with a team that won 5 now. Bournemouth out of the Europa League to Espanyol uh, RB Leipzig putting out Liverpool Olympiacos beat Feyenoord, Marseille beat Lazio PSV put out Las Palmas, Sampdoria actually beat AC Milan there and Dynamo Kiev putting out Braga so it's a it's a pretty weak looking uh, Europa League actually when you compare to real life it's going to have the likes of Atletico Madrid in it and, and Arsenal you know lots of great teams in there I believe uh, Borussia Dortmund in there as well I think Napoli I may be right in saying are in there but don't quote me on that uh, anyway against Aberdeen now Aberdeen in fair form it looks like two draws two losses and a win there they don't look like they're in that good form ourselves of course four wins and a loss in our last five still even uh, with the Pataudry side as I say we're going to go with the same thing we're going to go with Fulton Gamboa Cardoso Fernandez, Mitchell uh, Henderson, Barjonas, Price, O'Halloran, Gonzalez and Morelos and we're just going to go and try and beat them we're going to play as if we're a home team this is the way Celtic play Celtic come to places like Aberdeen and they just play their normal their normal lineup. they don't change it going away to any side uh, in Scotland so we have to do the same uh, Aberdeen come into the second in the form table ok maybe they couldn't no, no, I, I don't think they could have um, had as many losses and draws in their forms uh, as that anyway we want to pick up where we left off last time that's resonated with Price and Gonzalez so hopefully Price and Gonzalez pick up where they left off last time no opposition instructions today um, 
I just want us to play our own game. Don't even worry about Aberdeen. Uh, Mackay Stephen hit off uh, O'Halloran and went out for the Aberdeen throw. Hopefully we're going to have a good, strong showing today. It would it would kind of shatter the belief that I have in the team at the moment if we went out today and got swatted aside by Aberdeen. In the opening 20 minutes, it still remains nothing each. I suppose a draw wouldn't be the end of the world here, but in the form that we're in at the moment, free scoring, I would expect us to come here and get a win. Three shots just now, Aberdeen yet to manage a single shot in the opening 40 minutes. We've managed four, but nothing, no action until Jonas's ball in. Fernandez with a header, it's a good save, and the rebound, Morelos, I think he's offside. Alfredo Morelos scores, and it is chopped off indeed for offside. But five shots to Aberdeen's nothing in the first half, a good confidence showing. The Aberdeen defence obviously holding, uh, but we've looked pretty good statistically. Henderson, O'Halloran and Mitchell perhaps with a little bit of cause for concern. Six shots to nil in the first half. Um, I'm happy so far. Oh God, they didn't like that. Okay, I'm happy with the performance, just not the fact that we haven't scored. Uh, Oliveira will be coming on for Mitchell. Um, and we'll go Rositer, I guess, for Henderson as well, who's played pretty poor. I'm going to tell him to get creative. We've obviously had shots, but they've not been high percentage shots Price now with the ball to Jonas and Rositer as we start the second half in possession Rositer to Price hopefully we can start the second half on fire as we did against Dundee Gonzalez back to Jonas tries to play it through O'Connor will cut that out Jonas will pick it up again Shinny will clear it long Rooney will pick that up possible Aberdeen counter attack on here come on get close Fernandez trying to close him down it's played in McLean's taking it past the defender he's in he shoots he scores of course the start of the second half Aberdeen's first shot of the game counter attack in football and it is 1-0 to Aberdeen an absolute sucker punch a right kick in the ball is that 1-0 Kenny McLean's goal maybe we will switch it up and go with the two up top Alright, at the hour mark we are indeed going to do that. We're going to go with this formation, which is kind of similar to what we've been playing so far. Um, but we're going to go with two up. We're going to actually sit, I think I'm going to adjust it a little bit and sit, where's Rositer? Adjust it a little bit and sit Rositer in in front of these defenders. So we're technically going to be a back two with the defenders in there. Gamboa Oliveira will be wide with Rositer. Um, Berjonas dropping back here of course Gonzalez is going to sit in behind as a shadow striker and we're going to have Odson, Edward and Morelos up front, we're going to go with an attacking mentality, it's a very intense uh, formation demands a lot of our players um, and it's going to be even more so now that we're going attacking, Shinny with a good challenge, Morelos will pick her up though, he puts her into the box Gamboa's in there, takes a touch, it's bouncing around, Berjonas tees up Gamboa and what a rocket by Gamboa right into the top corner of the net fantastic finish first goal for Rangers and it is 1-1 I'm going to tell the boys to push forward right now the formation is very risky we could leave ourselves open at the back Cardoso playing it to Price now Price to Gonzalez Gonzalez getting forward let's just hope we can overwhelm Aberdeen it's not a good ball though Logan it's a brilliant challenge though it's into Morelos tries the tight angle saved well tries it again saved well again by Rogers unlucky for Morelos at the second time of asking but good goalkeeping I suppose by the Aberdeen keeper and we're clearly doing well with the demands uh, of this formation as Gonzalez is shot blocked by McLean now it's an absolute siege on the Aberdeen goal Price in Fernandez down cleared away but Jonas and Rogers manages to hold the ball this time and let's have a look 12-3 the shot count as Holt looking to deliver one for Aberdeen plays it to Mackay Stephen not closed down quickly enough he pokes it through it's Shinny and it's off the post by Ian Fulton it's a good save not good defending I hate that camera angle by the way it shouldn't change it should just stay at this camera angle um, and that's four shots for Aberdeen two on target and very very dangerous on both occasions 13 shots for herself eight on target unfortunately somehow we're still at one apiece 14 shots we are at now 9 on target heading into the last 5 minutes here a 1-1 draw not the end of the world we've played really well today 
but I'll be disappointed if we don't get the victory in the late stages of the game and I will be disappointed because it is going to end 1-1 Fernandez out to Gamboa moves it to Price half uh, sorry full time at Pitodri at 1-1 and I, I'm going to take a crumb of comfort out of the performance I'm going to tell them they were unlucky Mitchell doesn't like that apparently Henderson does whatever I think it was an okay performance I'm not completely happy with that it gives Celtic the chance of course to go 13 points clear um, but I think it was an okay performance again I'm not going to talk to the I'm not going to talk to the media Dimitri Mitchell's agent wants an improved deal um, no he's bang average he's already on a lot of money no discuss new contract you've plenty of time remaining you know get a new contract and he's happy with that or at least he understands that we've got two weeks before the Hibs game now we're going to look at Celtic and see how they get on I mean it doesn't really matter I don't th I don't see us catching them now but we'll see how they get on against Kelly I expect them to smash Kelly uh, Dapo Mavidi scoring for Dundee United good news St Mirren lose again this time to St Johnson I suspect they're probably going to go down in 12th place Uh, one nil Kelly, one nil Kelly at Parkhead. There you go. We're ten points behind Celtic going into the running. I do not suspect we have any chance to catch them, of course. But that's a surprising one. We've actually gained a point on them by drawing up at Pitodry. Let's see our on loan players. How did they do? Uh, Dapo Mabudi, of course, getting a winning goal there for Dundee United, looking pretty good. Stats improving a little bit there. Still very very young, but he's done well in his time at Dundee United. Uh, Adamson not playing well for Morton as they lose to Queen of the South. Jordan Thompson okay. Zach Rudden playing well for Partick, getting one of the goals as Partick beat Ross County. Uh, sorry, getting one of the goals for Ross County as they lose to Partick. How many games has he had? He's had a couple of games and done okay, Zach Rudden, uh, at, at County. Hopefully he can build on that with a loan season away next year. Uh, James Tavery are doing okay for Hull as they go down to Sunderland. Bierman not so much... And a couple of players okay. David Bates playing pretty well. Um, Bednar Chick did not play well. And Inverness scored five goals. So he must have had a really poor game there to not get in on any of the five goals. Uh, Ross McCrory, a stellar performance at Celtic Park as Kelly keep, keep a clean sheet against the champions. And that's how we're going to end. We're going to end on that positive with one of our youngsters keeping out Celtic. Perhaps an inspiration to some of our boys for when we go up against them. Uh, which can't be too far away now. Uh, a little look at our schedule next time we'll be playing Hibs and Thistle both at Ibrooks, and that should give us some momentum before we finish the regular season uh, at Celtic Park which is a very uh, a very daunting prospect if we're honest about that but Hibernian and Partick Thistle both at Ibrooks will be the next episode I hope you guys have enjoyed this one a little disappointed not to snatch the result up at Pataudry but you know what we'll take a positive that we went there and we played really really well we've went away in previous games this season Hamilton I'm thinking I'm thinking Dundee and we've just had we've had terrible performances and we're uh, soundly beaten I mean 4-0 actually it was at Dundee I mistakenly said it was 2-0 it was 4-0 and you look right up at the top of the screen here our last visit to Pataudry 2-0 loss so to go there get the point and you know, comfortably be the better side uh, and that Aberdeen will probably be thinking they're lucky stars to not get beat there I'll take that as signs of progress at the club so as I say, hope you guys have enjoyed the episode it's been a good one for us today I gained the point on Celtic obviously beat Dundee comfortably and then performed pretty well up at Pataudry. Um as I say, I uh, hope you liked it if you have, drop down below please and leave a like on the video uh, if you want to see the videos come out as they drop then please subscribe to the channel I'd be very grateful for that and uh, just overall, thank you for watching the videos here and I will see you next time for Hibernian and Partick Thistle.